Hey there, Scott from Philadelphia Cricket Club here. Um, I saw this pretty nice golf swing and I figured, you know, it's a great camera angle. Person looks like they kind of know what they're doing. Let's take a peek at it and see if there's some improvements that we can make to an already, you know, pretty good player. So in the comment, I noticed you said, let me know where else I can prove. Um, you're working on your driving iron technique. It's very good. Like, I don't know what your miss is or what your tendency is. Um, you know, you said it's a flighted shot and a stock swing. These are all good good things to know, um, but you know what's your miss? What's your you know what are your tendencies? Because I can kind of adhere to anything. I can make you hit more cuts, more draws. Um, we just need to know kind of what you're you're trying to get out of this golf club. And is this kind of your stock swing? Is this kind of what you you know the kind of the same motion you put on a a regular golf ball? So I'm going to just base what I see here on what you kind of presented to me. So um, when I looked at your swing, there was one thing that kind of made a specific note to me was number one you do a great job of you know creating some tilts and some turns and using your legs and your shoulders um it's it's awesome like, there's a lot of really good things here i did draw one line there right at the like the edge of your hand and as you take the club back i'm going to make a quick note your hands push just past that line not that it's the worst thing but as you keep going back you're still on that line so what i notice is you tend to not push your hand path or pull your hand path in. You actually push it slightly out. So that would be great if you're trying to hit like a cut or a, you know, a some sort of shot that moves straight to right. Um, and so I took note of that. And I at P3, where your left arm is about parallel to the ground, somewhere between these two frames, you don't have a ton of depth here. So my personal preference is to have a fairly neutral path um, on most, most shots, just so you can be a little tighter in terms of your dispersion. Um, when you don't have a ton of depth at P3, and it doesn't have to be excessive, but when you don't have a lot of you know, hand path or some depth at P3, you tend to not have a lot of hand path or depth at P4. So there you are, P4. It's adequate if it, the shot you're looking to hit is the one you just currently hit. Um, and as I continue to bring your club down, I'm going to make a couple more frames here. There we go. I'm going to stop you right there, and I'm going to clear that up. So your shaft is a little too steep at that point. It is intersecting your trail shoulder, and your hands are already fairly far out in front of you. So you're probably going to have to make some compensations on the way down in terms of contact and path. Um, again, it's good for a lower flighted shot, maybe something that cuts. But if this is what your normal swing looks like, I would say you probably might want to adjust the depth of your hand path a little bit from address all the way to the top of your backswing. Um, the next couple of frames, you'll see club is still a little bit steep at that point. And as you come into the golf ball, you know, again, there's a lot of good stuff happening here. This is just me being a golf pro, just nitpicking through every minor detail. There's some things I would adjust, but for the most part, you've got a lot of good things going on. Even the exit matches up very well, like the club face is in a great spot. You know, what I would say is I think hand path depth would help you have a slightly tighter dispersion pattern because you'd probably be slightly more neutral in terms of swing path into the golf ball. That's my professional opinion. Here's a drill for you in the next video, just so you can see what it is that I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to do a little demonstration in hopes that maybe it'll get the hand path a little deeper, you have a little more depth, and you'll have a slightly more neutral swing path when you hit your iron shots, just based on what I saw. So if you notice, I have a couple sticks on the ground. I have an orange stick. That would be, you know, if I stood here directly on top of the ball, obviously this is not the right place to use the foresight, um, but stick on top of my hands, and I have two sticks kind of working their way like slightly inward from me. So because we play golf on a tilted axis, um, the hands just can't go straight out. They need to move a little bit on a angle and we need to have some angle to ourselves. So you do a really good job of tilting your hips and your shoulders and you have all these angles, your arms just get disconnected in a way and that's when you stop creating depth with the hand path. So what I would prefer you to do if this is what you're looking for, if you're looking for a swing path that's a little more neutral, um, this is what I would say. Get these two sticks. I have a blue one here and I have a golf club on this side. And just start working your hand path directly on top of them. So like instead of pushing them out, almost feel like from the top down, if I was in like a helicopter looking from above me, I want to feel like my hands and my takeaway take the club back in line with that stick. So that's going to be my hand path on the way back. And then from here, 
you can take it up to the top and you notice I have more depth at this position. For you, I think just simply creating the depth will create a downswing that results in a slightly more into outer neutral swing path. So I wouldn't be shocked if you took the hand path more in, you got it to P4, and on the way back down, the shaft got here instead of here. That's a big difference for a high level player if that's what you are. And as you come down, you can see the club have a little bit of a descent to it, slightly more in to out, a little more neutral. And I think your misses will just be way more you know, tight and your dispersion will just get way better. I think that's a great way for you to improve your swing if that's what you're looking to do. Thanks.